What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to Lakeland Vale by Stevie. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? Welcome, welcome back, guys. Uh, I want to say a huge shout out to everybody for all of the comments in the last video. Holy cow, as of recording this, there's like 20. What is it? I can't actually see a number. 23 or something? There's a bunch. Thank you guys so much for that. I, I'm glad that you guys are excited for a Let's Play. I'm uh, I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm back in it. And uh, we're here. We're doing it, right? Maybe? Yeah. No, we're doing it for sure. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes. There's a lot of comments kind of either way. Uh, course play. Seems like course plays a go. Uh, Mo, more man or Mo man or something. I'm gonna, I'm, I butchered that, I'm sure. Uh, you don't like course play because of the lines. Well, I always like the lines. I don't know why, but, but there's no purpose of the lines. I can turn the lines off. Uh, so when I get course play on here, I will turn the lines off. Uh, so best of both worlds, right? So like, you know, you know your comments, not for nothing. I, I still appreciate it, bro. But, uh, I can turn the lines off. Yeah. I don't have to run the lines. I don't know why I always like seeing them that way. I could be like, oh, the combines on track or it's not, but it doesn't matter. I don't have to see them. I'm. I'm impartial to the, to the lines. Let me put it that way. Impartial to the lines. I can have them. I cannot have them. It's all good either way. Uh, but yeah, the 20, 30 minutes, there's a lot of comments either way on that. I appreciate you guys leaving all those comments. And I'm glad that some of you guys are uh, pumped uh, that you guys missed the let's plays. That, that made me feel good in a way. I know that might sound weird, but like, it's kind of cool that you guys missed them. And, uh, I'm glad to be back. I am glad to be back. I do not have course play installed currently. Uh, I actually not going to lie. I kind of forgot I had to record this video tonight. Um, so as I like to do, I like to break down the, uh, the invisible barrier, you know, and just talk about things. It is, uh, uh it's one o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, the night before this video comes out or the morning before I kind of forgot I had to record this because I want to get like a three day a week schedule going. And, uh, I was messing around with some other stuff instead of recording this video. So yeah, that's, that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, so, you know, it's all good, but Hey, being that I'm like not in my room where I normally would record let's plays, I'm out in the garage still, and it's going to be out in the garage, like a basically permanent setup out here now. Uh, I can record it any time of night or day. Basically, if I'm not streaming, I can record. So. There's that. All right. There's our wheat. I think that was, we're into barley now. Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody in team speak mentioned, uh, plowing these fields together. And I get to be completely honest. I hadn't even looked at them, but absolutely. Why wouldn't we plow them together? So we will be doing that. Uh, we will be doing that eventually for sure. But right now, just got to get a harvest done. Uh, pick up all the straw. Cause why not? It's free money. And, um, yeah, we'll get into some contracts eventually course play contracts. Cause those make us a ton of money. Of course, uh, we have equipment to do pretty much like every mission. Uh, we definitely have a lot of equipment, so we might as well do missions. It, no, it's over there. Okay. What that one's not for, that was for the other Sorry, It's a little jittery right now. It's got a new driver update on my computer and it's a little jittery. Uh, and there is an, an updated version of this map coming out as well. Uh, now that farm sim has released that update. So I will be switching to that as soon as I can get my hands on it. Uh, the other question that I don't think anybody answered was, do you guys want like a mod Google drive thing? I'm not sure. And the other thing I want to talk about guys, my Twitch streams. Okay. I know most of you probably already know this. But I'm going to say it anyway, links in the description to Twitch, to the, to the streaming that I do. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, pretty much every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday and every Saturday, uh, at various times, but I pretty much stream every day, but Sunday. Uh, so as the fancy graphic says right now, link is in the description below. Make sure you guys are uh, going and clicking on that. And just saying, I would appreciate it guys. And also don't forget about the secondary channel. Uh, link is also in the description for the second channel, the second YouTube channel link is in the description for that as well. So 
Okay, we need the MTM. Make sure you guys check that out as well. Uh, I am going to be talking about that second channel quite a bit, trying to like get it kind of hyped up and stuff. And, uh, you know, get more people over there. And then eventually, uh, you know, just good things are happening. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. I'm, I'm so far, I'm pretty po like pretty happy with uh, how things are going with the two channels. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird right now, and I know, and, and you guys may have caught this like yesterday, is that uh, I still have some streams that are uploaded to the main channel that I haven't put public yet. So, like, I just haven't put them public yet, but I will be eventually here. I've got, there's uh, one or two more. Uh, so on days when I'm not uploading this series, I will upload the other series. And I talked about in the last video, um, I talked about in the last video doing some editing live. I would still like to do that. I actually would like to do that again. I did it once upon a time, a long time ago. Uh, I would like to do that again, but I couldn't do it Monday because I was uploading. Basically, Monday was an upload day, like all day. And uh, so there's that. Because to be completely honest, between uploading and streaming, pretty much using my internet around the clock. Uh, good old Spectrum must hate my guts. I will be completely honest. They must absolutely hate me. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so not worried about it. Uh, and the other thing with course play is I, I, I definitely want it. I definitely want course play, but with these small fields, I almost, I just don't need it. Not yet. We will get into course play and uh, little feather. I saw you were, uh, you're wanting to learn course play. I'm probably not a good resource for that. I'll be honest because I'm going to open it up and be like, uh, so like, what do I do again? Cause it's been a while. I have not used course play since Madison County. That's the last like single player, uh, map that I had running. So yeah. Oh, and then saying that you enjoy my let's plays morning dagger when I appreciate that. I know he's a big, big time YouTube guy. And, uh, that's pretty cool, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the stuff and zero. Good to see you in the comments as well. And just. It was awesome. I'm looking at them. I haven't pulled up over here. It's pretty awesome to see you guys. It, it really is. It, it warmed my heart seeing all these comments from you guys and that you guys are excited and, and you know, ready for a let's play again. You know, uh, I think it was Matt said something like the, the, or somebody that like, they're more personable than they are. Cause it's just me. It's just me talking about like random things I did in my life. Like today I went to my farm. Uh, this evening, went to the farm. Today, I streamed. Obviously, today was Tuesday for me. And I uh, streamed uh, FS15. Been been really rocking the PV map, uh, FS15. And uh, this progression is slow on there, but we're still getting there. We're almost done building all of our factories, which that's going to really help us out. Because then we can really focus on, like, the other ones and stuff. The other stuff we need to do. But uh, went to the farm tonight because we are trying to... I think, where did I talk? I talked about this on the stream, but we're trying to, uh, uh, it's time to rake back the straw that's in our garden down there. Uh, so we can plant our pumpkins. It's time to do that. You see. And when dad rolled the, the wheat down, cause we use it like a cover crop. So we grow it and then we roll it down. And when he rolled it with the roller, he rolled it in like 18 different directions for some reason. And so it's like this big tangly gobbly goop mess of, of like, yeah, it's awful. Uh, so what we actually want to do, we came up with an idea of taking the cultures. Uh, they are notch cultures off of our death, off of our plow. Sorry, excuse me. Off of our plow. We have a three bottom plow. So we're going to take two of them off and, uh, we're going to basically rig them up on the three point hitch of the nine, nine, five and uh go out there and run those over that straw and try to chop try to chop 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 that straw is what we're going to try to do and uh hopefully like hopefully we're hoping that it works we really are we're really hoping that it works uh because otherwise i don't know what we're going to do that straw is so packed and it's just such a nightmare that uh <laughs> 
I don't know how we're going to get. We we did five rows. We want to do a total of, I think, eight rows. Is it eight rows? It might be more than eight rows, but we did some the other day. We had some help, had some family down. And uh, my good buddy Zachary came down and uh, to help out. Actually, he came down to get some drone video of the, the neighbor farmers. But I was like, hey, since you're here, you want to help? And he's like, no. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> you can ask him. That's pretty much how it went. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a bad person like that. I know. But, uh, so he was helping out and, uh, we got, like I said, about five of them opened up and it's a nightmare because the ground needs to dry a little bit. It's pretty wet under there. And, and that way we can plant the pumpkin seeds and the ground will get sunlight and warm up and they'll sprout and they'll grow and we'll have pumpkins this fall. So. That's kind of the theory. So we need to be planting our pumpkin soon. So dad and I ran to the farm tonight. Would have been last night for you guys, Tuesday night. And uh, we went and got in our old hog shed, which is a not ventilated shed at all. <laughs> it's got one, it's got one garage door on one end. I mean, it's not that big of a building, but it's a garage door on one end and that's it. And uh, it was really hot and humid in that building. Like very, like, super ungodly hot and humid which is pretty typical for that building because it doesn't breathe and uh yeah we uh we took two of the cultures off of the plow and uh doing that process we discovered which i have remedied the problem already uh but we have discovered that we do not have an inch and a 16th uh socket at our farm like an impact socket or socket at all I would have used a regular one. I'm not going to lie. I would have used the silver one on the impact. I know you're not supposed to. And in a pinch, I would have. Uh, so your boy had to get two wrenches and go climb back where the plow is back in the corner of that building. Which, mind you, is not fun to get to. There's, it's just not fun. Really hot back there. And, uh, yeah, so your boy had to climb back there and, and do some wrenching on some bolts that have been um, kind of you know, together for probably like 40 years or something, 30, 30, no, definitely more than probably close to 50 years. Well, I was old and, uh, I'm thinking 30 years. I'm like, oh, that's 87, not even, that's like the, okay. That's not that long ago, 30 years. I'm older than that. So yeah, but, uh, yes, they were fine thread and they had been rusting that plow before we got it did sit outside a little bit. And, uh, so it, it got a little rust to it, not going to lie. And, and those bolts were, <laughs> they were pretty tight. <laughs> not going to lie. It was actually kind of funny. I got, uh, I got two of them out and I grabbed my wrench from the end that I had been using. And almost half of my wrench was like hot to the touch, not warm, but hot. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, there's some friction here. <laughs> We got a little bit of old friction going here, you know, a little friction, just saying, but, uh, it was, it was kind of real, not going to lie, but, uh, we got them out and like I said, we're basically, we have a three point hitch, like attachment that we can put on our, on our 995. I'm trying to talk too fast, man, like tripping on my tongue here. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you guys again in a let's play. It's, it's, it's been a while. But uh, we have this three-point hitch adapter that's basically a trailer ball. So it's got like a, a real heavy cross part, like the cross part that goes from like your two bottom links was actually out of an old uh, uh, cultivator that somebody bought at the grandpa's auction in 1995. Or sorry, 96. They bought it in 96 and they never came back and picked it up. They paid for it and they never came back and picked it up. It sat outside for probably a year. And then dad decided, he's like, we're scrapping that thing. And dad and I literally took that thing apart every nut and bolt. We took it apart and scrapped it. Because we had no need for it. It was for a 36 inch rose and whatnot. So yeah, we scrapped her out. And, but we kept a few key parts. So that we kept that and then we, we made this trailer ball adapter out of it. Uh, many years later. And the thing works great. We use it for pumpkin day. We use it for all the time, moving trailers around with the uh, 995. And uh, yeah, so it was, it's it's pretty cool. So what we actually did is we're making the, uh, the, the, the cultures. We're actually making little brackets so we can bolt 
to that trailer ball adapter. Um, because we have the trailer ball adapter, might as well use it, right? And, uh, yeah, it's not something we're going to have to use a lot. It's basically just use it, hopefully, this coming Sunday, and that's it. Is what the hope is, anyway. So, that would be pretty nice to, to get that done, and, uh, hopefully it'll work out fairly well for us. We don't, we don't actually know, you know, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but we're hoping anything's better than what we were doing the other day, which was like pitchforks and it was just a tangly gobbly goop mess. And there was nothing fun about it. I won't even lie. It, it, it was awful. <laughs> it was, it was like more manual labor than I'm, I'm used to these days. You know, I'm a, like I kept telling dad, I was like, I, I play video games for a living pop. I'm not used to this like work stuff anymore. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't have been that bad, but it was really hot and humid. And we're not used to that here in St. Louis yet this year. Uh, you give us like a month and it'll be like, yeah, 95 with 110 heat index. Like that's no big deal. We'll be used to it then. We just, we're not used to it yet. And the other worst part was like, <laughs> we, we brought, uh, I went to Sam's this past Sunday and got some like, you know, beverages, uh, bottled water, uh, some propel that, that Gatorade water propel stuff. is really good. We got some of that. I guess that was it. But my brother was down there and he decided to throw all of it in the fridge all at one time. And our fridge sits in our shed. That was a hundred plus degrees all day. And so nothing was cold all day in that fridge. Our fridge is pretty old and you know, whatnot. It's not the best working fridge down there. And, uh, yeah, so we uh, we we didn't really have like cold drinks to come in the shed and drink down. So we did throw some in the freezer, and that that helped. I won't lie, that definitely did help. But they still were not. Uh, they weren't great. Let me put it that way. They were not great. But hey, got the job done, I guess. Right? Got the job done. Kept us alive. That's kind of what matters, right? <laughs> That is kind of what matters. So as long as we, we stayed alive, we're good. And, uh, yeah. All right. So we need to move our, uh, thing about Bob again, our combine. We really don't need an auger wagon for these fields, especially as much as I'm picking up straw. I really don't need an auger wagon. Just saying all about the straw though, guys. Holy cow. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right. So what are we going to. I think we need to plow those fields together like as soon as possible. Uh, but I want to look in the, the mods here because I do have, I do have mods installed, you see, and I can pull this, I believe with my John Deere's that I have currently. Um, that's the only thing I have that will create new fields though. Yeah. So I do have some stuff like this, you know, this is really a good mod by the way. Things awesome. There's one little issue with it, but. Not a big deal. But anyway, I do have mods. I don't think I went through this, did I, the other day? I think I well, I talked about this. I didn't really go through, like, in depth. Uh, and I did just turn one other mod on. Actually, I don't know why I have this, because that will not come into play here. Obviously, this is not a uh, multi-fruit map, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, Yeah, not really. There's Okay, interesting. Interesting, a little bit of stuff in here, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So I don't know why I have that, but that's just in my mods. Uh, but I did turn on a tractor here that I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, should we get this to mow like around the yard? Because there's like a million options with it. And one of them is actually, I shouldn't even say one of them. Uh, three of them are more decks. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's that, right? <laughs> There is that, like, we legit have more decks, okay? So, <laughs> there's actually a lot of stuff that goes with that. There's a lot of stuff. We have a little snowblower, which we're not going to use. We're not going to run seasons, even if it was seasons ready. There's little spreaders. There's so much stuff that goes with that little John Deere. It's rather amusing, honestly. Everything that runs with that John Deere, so... It's, uh, it's something. It is definitely something for sure. So, I don't know. 
We'll pick it up eventually, right? And we have some cash. $142,000 really is not that much. When I kind of want to buy that plow. I know I don't have a lot of plowing to do here, but I kind of want to buy that plow. And I won't lie. Oop, did that? Okay, cool. I don't, I won't lie. Looking at the map here, guys. Nine and ten. One Mondo Field. I don't know if I want to do that. What do you guys think? Mondo Field or no? I mean, I need money. I need, I need, I need a considerable amount of money. I need, I need a lot of money. But the, the option is there, guys. The option is there for sure. We, we could. One big field here. I don't know if I want to do it. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Hey, see, aren't you guys proud of me? I didn't call you chat. I'd be like, chat, what do you think? Because you're not your you're comment section. You're YouTube watchers. You're not Twitch viewers. I'm sure some of you do watch both, but like, you're not, you're not chat, you know? <laughs> you're not my live chat over on twitch.tv slash pumaplow. Links in the description. Did I say that? Man. You guys should come say hi. It's a good time over there. Good time. And we are back to playing 19 over there as well. We are playing, um, we're calling it rusty. It's, it's a Kaza or Taylor made, uh, Taylor made map. And, um, uh, really good. Really good so far. It's four separate maps all put together. One. I know I talked about it in the other video, but like, Actually, uh, the, yeah, the other video was filmed before the 12 hour. The 12 hour was great, by the way. Uh, any of you that tuned in or came by and said hi or watched, watching it back on the second channel, links also in the description, top of the description. Um, <laughs> or top link in the description, I shouldn't say. But uh, yeah, we've been having a ton of fun playing the new map and uh, it's been good. The guys have been really going crazy over the weekend which is good it's not a bad thing it's a good thing and uh, yeah it's just having a ton of fun with that map it's it's very unique with the four the four maps all put together it's like every map has its own feel and uh, it's pretty cool the only issue that we had was uh saturday yeah this past saturday afternoon i went in the house and took a dinner break and I came back and, uh, the guys have been cutting trees, but also at the same time before that we had been, uh, we had been bailing. So we had bales sitting around. We had trees down, not so much trees, but tree stumps. We had tree stumps down for sure. And our tree stumps just there. And I don't know. It was just like the perfect storm. I don't think any one thing was to blame. Um, but it was just like the perfect storm of like bad things that happened in a farm sim server. And so, yeah, we ended up having to roll the server back. And that actually reminds me, as soon as I'm done with this, I want to go change some things about the server. But, uh, uh, our, our only server backup was at four o'clock in the morning. So this happened Saturday evening. So we basically lost like. 12 hours worth of work and there were people in there working all 12 hours so in man hours i would hate to think what we actually lost all right that's good enough off the field guys not 100 percent, but it's like 98 good enough for me but yeah i would actually really 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 hate to think how much how many hours we actually lost it was a considerable amount let me just put it that way and so everybody was kind of discouraged but we kind of powered through and got kind of back to where we were and uh of course now we have uh far past where we were and of course by now because it's you know tuesday night now for me so definitely have passed where we were and uh everything is good so right, what was that last that is soybeans so no straw there either okay awesome i will park this and i need to get a plow I bet I have a plow and I bet I'm not going to use that plow. Just throwing that out there. I'm going to go buy that big plow. I think, I think I can afford it. Not sure. We will be organizing sheds and I will be parking everything when I'm done with it. That is something I will be doing. 
Okay, we have a subsoiler there, which I cannot create any fields with that. It does count as plowing, kind of, but I can't create a field, okay? Nothing there. That's really going to be all of our equipment. All right, so what we want to do is I would like to buy... Yeah, $95,000. I'm going to buy this, right? That doesn't matter. I like having the... Um, I like the rolling baskets, guys. And it just doesn't matter. I don't have anything to pull back there anyway. I like the rolling baskets. I don't know why. I always have liked them. $101,000. I can kind of not really afford that. All right. Where is the shop? Where is the shop? Actually, I don't even know. Is it? Oh, it's straight up the road. Okay. All right. Up that road over there. Let's go. Combine's just going to do combine things because it's on canola. So, yeah, it's on canola. I had to look. So we're good there. We're good there. Actually, I can sell that guy right there too. I don't need the pickup truck. I never use them. I never, never, never. Ooh, little like spikes. Never, never, never use the trucks. So, yeah. What do you guys think about Big Field? If nothing else, I'm going to. Ooh, man, this game is running interestingly. Uh, if nothing else, I'm going to plow one, two, three, and four together because they're right there. So I might as well. Uh, beyond that, what do you guys think of the big field? If I were to include the other the other field, I would have to do some uh, tree cutting. Probably bring in the brush chipper and just chip everything. It's just easier, uh, faster. I do not want to cut down as many trees as I did on Madison County. I can guarantee that much. But I wouldn't mind uh, chopping a few. Chop, chop, chopping a few trees. Man, it does not like loading spots up here. I wonder if now because like... That update has come out, but this map is still the old one, but I'm I'm running the update. I wonder if that's causing some issues. Which is fine, because like I said, there is a map coming out, an, an update to this map coming out. So I will definitely be grabbing that as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, they will not stop blowing me up on Snapchat. Do you guys know I'm on Snapchat, by the way? You guys want to like shoot me a video? I will reply to videos. I do not reply to text because it's just... A text conversation, it, I won't even lie. It's like, it's too much sometimes. But I, you ask me a question in a video, I will reply via video. You might get to see my backyard or the monitors. I don't know. Or my ugly mug. I don't know why you'd want to see that, but yeah. <laughs> Just saying. So there's that. But uh, yeah, Snapchat. It's, it's just Puma Plow. You can look me up. Feel free to add me. I'll add you back. It's all good. I do that. It's a thing. Oh, you know what we're going to need, though, if we're going to do this? Do we have a mechanic thing here at our house? I wonder if we can have a mechanic. Yeah, it's right here. There's a mechanic. Hey, Mr. Mechanic. Mr. Mechanic? How do I? How do I activate? Is this a fuel spot? What is this? Owns oh, a fuel. I thought it was a mechanic. Looks like a mechanic shop. Uh, do we have one of those here? I need something. This might be it over here. What this? What is this? This is not what I need either. Like a place to buy all this stuff. Uh, darn it. I need a mechanic thing. I guess there's no mechanic here. Well, I guess we got to drive back up north. I need GPS for this tractor. <laughs> That would be very, very handy if I had GPS. I don't need it, but, you know, let's try to get somewhat decent square, you know, rectangly fields. Straight lines, anyway. It would be nice, right? So that's what we're going to try to do. And actually, I'm going to be over 30 minutes in this video. Holy cow. I wasn't actually planning on going this long, but I just get a talk in and it just happens, you know? I'm just saying, it happens. Uh, and actually, I was looking at the map here when I opened it up before. Uh, I kind of forgot we own Field 5. Field 5 is in grass, right? So we have all the equipment. We may go make some haylage bales. Uh, next video, what do you guys think? Haylage? Haylage is worth a lot of money usually, so I'm okay with that. All right, let's customize this bad boy real fast. Uh, we can repair it. Sure, $95. And then customize. 
and uh, we would like to put the global positioning system on here and make sure that we're at 450 horsepower and you know what should we do it should we actually do it i kind of wish it had like i wish it had road duels like skinnier tires you know like the and i know i have modded ones in case you didn't know i have these modded ones these modded adars um the custom modding modded adar that like you can uh i mean see i don't know about that tire maybe that tire but then like hang on wait for it i use these on madison county and yeah that's a good looking tractor that that would be a planting tractor here an auger wagon tractor something like that and there's something about that too which is like the big the stem sticking out <laughs> cow looks goofy that's when you take it off and you like want to spray that's what you do but these tractors are amazing how much you can like customize you can number them they're absolutely incredible guys yeah uh, you can put beacons on them and like dual beacons anyway there's that but that's not we're not getting into that right now because we don't we don't have that kind of cash the tractor is so much better with duels on it rear duels for the win but yeah we'll get into all the modded fun stuff eventually guys when we have some cash coming in uh kind of why i wouldn't mind doing that big field because you know we'll we'll be forced to get into uh some wood cutting which you know i don't i don't mind doing that to a point brux chipping is probably the way i would go at it um i'm not really one for logging in uh, fs i'm not usually a fan of that too much but uh, I, I do enjoy i do enjoy uh uh with the brux chipper so there's that but yeah i guess that's the question for you guys this uh video would be the field what do you guys think of that the big field i'm gonna plow the small fields together no matter what but like the big field what do you guys think of that yes no maybe so um that would be the question for you guys let's try to have a question of the video for every every video guys let's try to do that so here's what i'm thinking chat oh i called you chat i didn't mean it comments y'all y'all watching y'all plus three uh i'm going to get into the plowing next time same bat time or wait same bat place the, the puma plow youtube channel right but we're gonna be plowing that video will be a friday guys i'll record it thursday night after after this video comes out so that you guys feel free to comment i'll address them in the next video we'll keep the conversation rolling and uh yeah for right now we're just gonna shut her down boys thank you oh that was not the right button that was the, it was supposed to be this one to turn off my 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 electronics uh thank you guys so much for watching another uh another video i appreciate it have a great rest of your day and as always the toodles